They can't keep that up. It's too much for them. They don't want to do it. They want to go back to what's easy. They're lazy. And they have to go back to what is comfortable for them. And that's these low vibrating behaviors. You know, uh, they can mimic emotions. And that's that's the worst part about this. Let me just say, that is the worst part about these people is, excuse me, they uh, do think in the beginning you've met somebody that's just like you. Every narcissist that has ever come in my life, I thought was like, I ride or die. I did. And and this is why uh, I really try to hone in on and, and teach people that you have to take a very long time to get to know someone because they're, they're all doing this. They're just mimicking your personality and it's not who they really are at all. And that's what's scary because you're, you know, how can you blame a target of this type of abuse when the target has no idea right, yeah. what was coming for him? Not a clue. I didn't have a clue all the time. And, you know, I thought I was smart. I was working with victims of, of domestic violence in my 20s. I was working with people that came out of jail. I, I don't know if, uh, if you knew that, Paxton, but I used oh, I to help people find jobs. I, I worked at a company that was a vendor for the state. And they would come in out of all sorts of programs. So you're talking shelters and jail and, and a DCF and you name it. And I saw all this with my own eyes. And I, I used to say to myself, what is wrong with this woman? She must have no self-esteem. And there I was in the middle of a narc relationship, not even having a clue. When they come into your life, you will feel like you're being heard. You're being seen. Wow. Like someone someone really appreciates me, recognizes me, recognizes my talents, my strengths, helps me during my weaknesses, doesn't judge me. They are literally the ideal partner when they come into your life. That is horrible. If you think about it. Total setup, isn't it? It's, a, it's an just absolute it's setup. A, it's a con. Yes. And every step of the way, they know what they are doing to you. For many that know my story, I, I went from one narc to the next, and, and I went through three of them, and that lasted me all of my 20s and all of my 30s. So yeah, the, you young people that are listening to this tonight, please heed my warning. You're going to waste precious, and I'm talking precious years of your life trying to basically help a bum. That's what you're doing. They're bums. I'm telling you guys. My ex-husband wouldn't be anywhere he is, anywhere he is, if he did not have the, the resources he had for me to be able to be where he is at. He would never have been.